boots. Those sidewalks are still a mess out there. Businesses and homeowners can get fined for icy walkways. The now's Kristen Scovera spoke to the city, and so far they've issued 109 warnings, but zero tickets. Kristen. Yeah, Molly, turns out it's actually pretty hard to get ticketed for an icy walk. And the city, they're especially forgiving early in the season. The sun is out. The snow is melting. But just walking around Denver can still be downright dangerous. Really slushy and it's uh, really slippery. Just coming to my appointment here, I probably almost tripped half a dozen times between that parking lot and the store. Some of us spent the day clearing a path. We are shoveling the snow for the community, for the safety support for the community. The city says business owners should have started their cleanup much sooner. We'll give them up to four hours after the snow stops. And how about residential areas? The city gives property owners 20 additional hours to start shoveling. Homeowners have 24 hours after the snow stops falling to clean off all of this. But as you can see, this walk needs work. We'll have these um, door hangers that we'll leave um, on the doors just to remind people what their responsibilities are. Just this month, more than 100 warnings have been issued. Still, city officials say it takes several warnings before you'll face fines. So zero fines so far, but as I mentioned, these fines can happen and they are pricey, $150. So if you want to tell on your neighbor, you can call 311 for an unshoveled walk. Otherwise, you can just wait for the sunshine to get it. Live in Denver, Kristen Scovira, Denver 7. Kristen, thank you.